In this video, we're gonna be looking at an AI text to video generator, but not just an any AI text to video generator. I am specifically talking about a next level. Imagine being able to put in a prompt and then not only being able to just generate a video, but being able to actually generate a whole storyboard. Then being able to go in to that storyboard and scene by scene going in having absolute manual control about how you generate the characters, what the voiceover is, what the image looks like, the camera angles in the shot, but basically being able to do that off of only a prompt. And I'm talking about a company called LTX Studios. It is owned by a company called Lightrix. Now they have been around roughly for about 10 years and now they have released this LTX Studio. It has been out for a while. I have been on the actual waiting list for a while. Maybe about three weeks ago, I got access to it. And right now I have been playing around with it and I am actually paid a membership to make this video so I can actually go in a little bit deeper, play around with it and actually show you what it is. So as you can see, this is LTX Studio by Lightrix. So this is the main website. This is the main homepage. So if you want to sign in, which I already have on another page, but if you want to get access to it, you can join the waitlist right here. So what I'm going to do is jump straight into the interface. What does it actually look like? This is what your screen looks like right here. Now, just to say it is still in beta, you get a certain amount of tokens. So here you can see you get the different plans. You have the community, standard, business, business, all in the beta offer. Like I said, I've already paid for this myself. I am on the community fee right here. So that includes free computing hours a month and personal use. Uh, so you can use any of the videos that you generate for personal use. And on the free version right here, you get one hour of computing hour a month, one hour of video basically to generate stuff or you can go down and make a custom plan. So you have three different options. You have create a story, visualize your concept and start from scratch. And just a side note, recent projects you'll find down here. So these are little ones that I've already made. So I'm um, jumping back up to here though, to get started, I'm gonna ignore starting from scratch. That gives you full manual control over everything. Imagine just starting without a pre-template. Create a story, instantly turn any idea or simple prompt to a full, fully realized video. So you can basically just start your story from a basic prompt and you're good to go. Either, secondly, you have visualize your concept. So you can input your script and watch it come to life as you write it. Now I'm gonna show you both, but first off, I'm gonna start off with create a story right here write a prompt. Let's go a dog that goes on an adventure, <laughs> on an adventure, yeah. a dog that goes on an adventure. I should probably start planning these before I start thinking of it on the spot, but hey ho. So you can see when it's come up straight away, story overview, Rover, a lovable dog embarks on an adventure with new animal friends. They face challenges, temptations and trials in a quest for treasure only to realize the true value of the shared experience and friendship. How sweet is that? Straight away, project name, the, na the name of the story effectively, it is Rover's Quest. Now the aspect ratio, you have 16 by nine, which is like widescreen, so a YouTube video, one by one, which is like a square. And then we have the good old real nine by 16. I'm keeping it 16 by nine and uh, down here, you can see the video style that you want. And when I say you have a lot, I mean, you really have a lot. Automatically chooses cinematic, but we have so many. <laughs> and it goes and goes and goes and keeps going. So, I mean, let's just choose a random one on board of choosing cinematic. Origami, okay, origami. Now, I just wanna say quickly as well, this on the side is your cast of characters, so you can go in there and edit and change them. I'll show you that after. But what I want you to look at is, is I choose origami, look how they change. So I press it, give it a second. So straight away, <laughs> in real time, origami style. Now, this is really, really cool. It's changed characters in that style. It is awesome. Now, what you could also do as well, style reference, you could upload an image here and give you an example of what you want it to look like. Then on the side, you could put down again, uh, what you, what's your inspiration behind that? Is it gritty, cinematic, a comedy, stylish, or whatever. I'm gonna leave that, I'm happy with how it is. But if we, for example, wanted to inject our face, we could do face switch, upload a picture of my face, and inject it in there. I'm actually quite intrigued. What does my face look like as a dog? Let's have a quick look. Um, apparently that is my picture in there. I can't tell a difference, but we'll leave it in there. Why not? And then if you go in there, you can change the rover, uh, change the name of the dog. So Rover, let's call it, let's call it Danny. It's got my face in it. So why not? 
age. He is 30, which I know is quite old for a dog, but a lovable adventure. There we go. What's a 30 year old dog called Danny in an origami style look like? Ah, okay. Um, interesting. Let's go with it. Clothing, nothing, voice. And this is what we can do as well. So we can then choose the individual character's voice as well. So what does Josh Deep sound as like? As an organizer, I start from where the world is. As it is. Well, Thomas, who's calm. I'd rather regret the things that I have done. No, that sounds too AI. And by the way, you get all these voices included that are AI generated. Can I, can I just say how cool they are? But like you have so many. I'm gonna go with Josh Deep, press apply, apply changes. So when it says this as well, when I was on about your characters, your tokens even when I say that, when you regenerate a shot with a character, it takes away from those tokens, just so you know. So they can get eaten up pretty fast with little things like this, but it's very cool that you get the idea. So now I've put that information in, the story's changing up here. So again, it is just really interesting. Danny, a lovable dog, embarks on an adventure with new animal friends. They face challenges and it's the same story, temptation, trials, and they basically become best friends at the end. So we're happy with everything. And what we're gonna do now is press start. So as that's just loading, let me just scroll down. Scene one has the images loading. So you can see how this looks. Scene one, two, three, four, five, six scenes. So that, I don't know how long that is, maybe about a minute and a half, something like that. So, but as I'm scrolling down, you can see all these images are being generated by the AI. They're just queuing, now it's just loading there as well. So I'm sure that will happen. But as we scroll up, this is our first scene. So straight away, we have a lot of different things we can play about with here. So um, just looking at this straight away, Danny wanders through a familiar town streets with a wistful expression. The shot type is medium shot, but if we wanted to go in and we said we wanna make it a extreme closer, for example, the AI will generate a new image. Okay, there we go. So that's an extreme close up right there. So you can just see how it's straight, straight away gone in and changed it. But I want it maybe a little bit, let's go for a wide shot actually. I prefer a wide shot as an establishing shot. So it's just going in and messing about with all of its sort of stuff. And then look on the side here as well for the actual scene. You can see the location, town, streets, lighting is sunny, the weather a clear sky. So you can go in there and change that again. And this is the voiceover. So if I just go in there and we press play, see what it sounds like. Hey, I'm Danny. I'm just a regular dog with a yearning for adventure. Or what we can do it, go in and do is change shot by shot individually. So if I change over to shot editor, or you can access it by literally just going here to the individual clip that you want, video scene, and um, just press shot editor alternatively, and it takes you through it. If we, for example, want to go to shot two, shot three, whatever, we can change it. But just for this, shot one. And um, straight away, we can press the shot type that I've already told you. But also, this is where it gets more interesting the motion. Do you want it to be normal? Do you want it to be extreme? Do you customize it? And then you can choose the scale of how much you want it. So for me, I'm going to bring it down a little bit because I just like it a little bit less hectic. And um, you can choose how long you want it to be, three seconds, six seconds, whatever you want. But for me, I'm happy with how it is. So now if you want to see what it looks like, we can press generate video. And straight away, you can just see it's brought in four different clips. That's a bit funky with its head. That is just weird. But this one here, number one, is my favorite. So let's just press that. And once that's loaded, that's going to be the scene. So then we could also add a sound effect. So here we could say, I don't know, noisy town center. So straight away, we could say city center walking crowd looping. Now, I honestly have no idea how that's gonna sound in the video, but for just the sake of it, Let's press it and add that in. Now we're done with this scene. We can go back to the storyboard and it's gonna load and we have that. So if we press play, right there. So now also what we can do, I like the voiceover, but just say we weren't happy. We could go in and change the individual voiceover for the character, Oswald the Wise Owl and Sylvester the Squirrel, or the overall narrator, Zeus Epic. Genius is 1% inspiration. Yeah, we're gonna do Zeus epic and deep, I like that. So we're gonna apply that, and then also we need music. So let's just say the soundtrack, and we could upload our own one right here, or we could, let's just say, write in our own prompt of what we want it to be. So sound right here, let's go fun, adventure, light, hearted. 
and then let it search a minute, see what we get. <laughs> story. Children's story, nature, mischief. Yeah, we could do that. Now, let's just say for the sake of time of this video, we are happy with everything. We can preview it or we can press export. So again, for time and bear in mind, all of these are static images. So you have to generate the video. So you have a lot of manual control to go in scene by scene, we prompt it, do whatever you like, but I don't have the time for that. But you know what I'm saying, let's press export. But before we do, you have 18 static shots. Do you want to generate it? Generate the AI images to video. Yes, we do. Let's press it generate 18 clips to videos. Now it's just finished taking the AI images and turning them into videos. What we will do is press export. Now we have the option of three different options, the option to export it in three different ways even. So you have a pitch deck. So to just say you had a concept that you wanted to go take to a company, someone, whatever, to show them your pitch deck. You can do it, it's really, really cool. If you wanna take it out as a Premiere Pro save file or DaVinci or maybe Final Cut as well, you can do that. Or you can export it as a video, which is what I'm gonna do. So we press this, preparing to download. It may take a couple of minutes. And now we can see what my masterpiece looks like. Hey, I'm Dan. I'm just a regular dog with a yearning for adventure. One day, I set off to explore beyond my town and met some amazing friends along the way. We faced challenges, like a menacing hawk in a tricky forest, but together we overcame them all. Then, we stumbled upon a mysterious cave, and things got really exciting. We found out that the true treasure wasn't gold, but the bond we shared. Now back home, we may not have riches, but we have memories that'll last a lifetime. <laughs> I mean, some of that was funky with the images and what have you, but the actual concept that it's probably just took me a few minutes to put that together. So imagine what you would actually make if you put more effort into it. But to say the AI can just do that, I'm impressed. I am impressed, I have to say. So what we're gonna do now that we've made that masterpiece is we're gonna go back to the main screen and we're gonna visualize our concept. But what we need before that is we need a script. So we're gonna go over to my friend, Mr. Chat GPT, and we are going to ask it for a few ideas. So this is a prompt, act as an expert di film director. I want you to create a short one minute story about a hero's journey of a man who loses everything in a bet, goes out to travel the world to redeem himself, himself and learn from his mistakes. Give me five different synopsis for me to choose from. Option four, that's what I'm gonna choose. Option four and then uh, make the full script and then piece it together over a maximum of six scenes. The journey back home, let's see what that does. So now what we can do with all of this is copy it, say thank you, Go back over to here, input your idea into visualize your concept, and let's just type it out. We'll paste it out, I should say. And right there, we have all the scenes. One thing that I would do is remove fade out in the end because it leaves a little weird fade out on the actual video when it's generated by the AI and it just looks weird and cuts it off early. So that's just my little tip. Here I like that it actually, compared to the other one where I was reading at different styles and we chose origami, actually gives you uh, a visual image of what it looks like. So for me, let's do, I don't know, comic book. Yeah, let's do a comic book. So now that it's loaded, this is what the scene looks like. So we have the opening shots right here, go across. And the one thing that I've noticed is that if you look at scene two, by the way, for example, the decision, straight away, the character of the comic book style is different. Look at number one, number two is then more comic -y is what I would say, and number three. And then up here, it looks a little bit more cinematic slash realistic is what I would say personally, but it's quite interesting. Let's have a look, let's keep going. But yeah, I mean, the style varies between cinematic to comic-y. Um, but then here, for example, now, the voiceover. You can see here, it says that it has 113 characters, but it only needs 30 because there's one scene. So what you could do is just make the voiceover down to 30, fit it in, or we could add a shot, so which means make a new scene and bring that over and look at this now for cool. So look at um, the last character there is Tom. So let's just say at Tom to say that's who we want. And then straight away, it's gonna bring the character in what he looks like. But then we could say Tom starts 
his epic journey back. Let's just put Tom starts his epic journey back and straight away the AI is taking that into account. See what does that look like? Saying what it's like. And we have this. So I think already very nice, different looking person. So uh, let's just say Tom starts his journey back and is ready for what comes on the way. Let's do a bird's eye view. No idea what that's gonna look like, but I think it can be quite interesting. Okay, so I've tried this a couple of times off of camera, had a couple of issues whilst generating this particular video script. Normally, when you generate the video script and you put it in to the editor here, in my testing of this, it has generated a voiceover. But what it hasn't been doing now when I went to export the other video was it only had a voiceover on the one scene, the end scene. I've tried to just export my old video now as well. It hasn't happened. <laughs> and it is really, really frustrating me. And I don't know why it's deciding to do this now after I was testing it beforehand, but it is what it is. So the idea is, is that it will create a whole video based off of your script and this and that. But right now, to be honest, it hasn't worked and it's a shame, but these things happen and I'm not gonna dress it up any other way because I don't believe in doing that. And it is in a beta phase, so I'll give you my final conclusion. I think the software at its core is amazing. I think it is clearly still in beta phase because it is inconsistent and it has been a lot more inconsistent in generating a video based off of a specific script or a synopsis like that. And you could go ahead and try a synopsis like that, but right now I've spent too long trying to do that and I'm not willing to go any further with it. So overall, I think it's an amazing piece of technology that I do think you should sign up for and wait and join the waiting list and try it out. Should you try your own money for the sake of $5? Um, for $5 to me, I would try it, see if you get better results. But the fact that I still have to pay for it and I'm getting this, it's a hit and miss because it's in beta. Some of the other videos that I've posted on my X account, I'll maybe link them down below. You can see what it, you do get. But there's an overall video of reviewing it right now. Fantastic concept, really interesting. And it is the only one that I've seen where you can create a whole storyboard around it, then go in and try it out. But that's what's happened. It hasn't gone to plan right now. And it is what it is. So let me know what you think down in the video comments down below. Have you had this happen to you? Have you had more consistent, better results with it than me? Other than that, thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.